Hey guys, uh, my name's Anthony McGrath and I thought I'd do a little bit of a um, breakdown video for Thanos, um, which is a model that I've been working on for a sequence involving Hulk and Thanos. <laughs> and uh, I just wanted to do a quick little five, 10 minute video, just quickly showing some of the setup that I've got on the rig um, and hopefully be able to share some things. This isn't a full how to step by step video. This is just mostly for me to get a hang with filming myself, chatting in front of a camera, webcam, and things like that. Um, and sort of sharing some information on how I go about setting up some of these things. So um, I'm just gonna quickly dive into this and show you what I've got. So uh, as you can see, I've got a, a Thanos rig here, which I've spent a good deal, deal of time working on and uh, I've added a few different things on it I thought it might interest some people um, and just sort of show where I'm going with it. So um, I've been animating this guy uh, and I'll just quickly show you here what I've got which is just a fairly straightforward shot uh, and it's again animation still rough, um, the model's still work in progress in places, um, but it's it's working quite well overall. So uh, I thought what I'd show you is uh, some of the various things. So I've got this is like a low res version, um, which is you know pretty pretty good. You get a nice frame rate from it, and then if I switch to a high res one. You can see straight away there's more detail. I'm getting more detail in the glove, things like that, and in the pants, um, and everything else in the shoes, and, and especially in the face. The face is where I've got the character rig, uh, uh, sorry, the facial rig that I've set up, which is, oops, let's turn that off. Um, you know, and that's all still work in progress, um, but it's, you know, it's going to take some time to sort of, you know, really tighten it up. It's, it's not perfect in places, but it's it's on its way. Uh, so one of the things I wanted to show was, let's say, is, is I've, I've added this extra feature on, which lets me switch proxies, switch to a proxy version, and you can see straight away I'm seeing like 24 frames a second, which is the frame rate I'm animating at, which is what we use in most film industry. Um, and yeah, uh, that's that's kind of like what I like to work with per for my own personal stuff. Um, and I can switch to the low res. I'm getting slight, pretty good frame rate still. Uh, obviously, it chugs when I switch on the higher one. Um, interestingly, it only chugs when I have. The gauntlet on the gauntlet is pretty heavy, so I'm, I'm getting. I'm able to see like facial animation and things like that. Just there's, there's only a little bit of it, but it gives you an idea. So uh, one of the things I wanted to show as well was um, when when I'm animating this guy, I've got uh, a system whereby he's. I wanted to get some cloth simulation in the pants, and but I wanted to have the flexibility to be able to work with it in other scenes, not just this scene. I wanted to be able to use it and have it embedded in the rig so I can just turn it on or off, which is something I've managed to get going, uh, get working fairly nicely. So this is my high res animation, and then I can switch to a sim version, which actually just swaps out models like it, it's just a visibility swap and then what I do is I drive all my cloth end cloth simulation stuff on this and right now it won't do anything oh it will because it's cached but um, usually I can turn it active on there and you'll get um, you'll be able to work with it uh, so what it is is in the scene I start at frame 1001 but I actually work at um, I set up a base pose, like my cat in a base pose, and I basically just drive to that. And you can see I've already cached out the animation 
on the on the on the cloth. So when you let's turn off the gauntlet again just for speed. Um, so now you can actually see when he's walking, I've got a nice bit of cloth simulation going on, and it's not perfect. It's, there's a few glitches here and there, you know, collisions and things like that, um, which are all things that can kind of paint and tidy up later. But it's quite nice because now I'm seeing it in my shot here. So there we go, uh, and I'm getting a nice bit of secondary motion on the character, which just adds to it. So yeah, that's uh, the model, um, and there's you know there's a ton of, ton of other things I can do with him. He's all fully riggable and posed. I'm, I'm just using advanced skeleton. This is something you can get for free off, uh, off the internet um, uh, from their site. Uh, and you probably noticed some people probably noticed I'm on an old version of Maya. Um, it's 2015, I think. Um, but it's, you know, I, I, I found it quite nice to animate with for my own personal work. Um, so again, animation is not perfect. There's pops in the knees and things like that. But for the shot, I think it worked quite well. Um, so yeah, uh, that's, that's that. And then what I wanted to quickly show you was the render which is again test render um, oh, and this this is it all uh, come on computer do things you fell over um, so there we go you can see with the cloth we're getting a nice bit of cloth these are all extra elements and things I've added in. It's a comp process. Um, yes, I'm not using Nuke. I can't afford Nuke. Um, and then what I've done is I export out the camera motion from Maya, bring it into After Effects, and I have a numerous layers for cloth mountains, all kinds of other stuff, um, sky, all that stuff, and atmospheric smoke, and they're all tracked with the camera. Uh, and then I pass it through some other filters for things like motion blur and depth of field just to get the stuff out of focus and uh, yeah it's, um, it's it's quite effective overall I think I think it gives a nice result the render is still low res it's only half resolution um, I'll actually be rendering this at final better quality so you can see like I'm getting a lot of um, Pixelation, it's just low res, you know, it renders in about a minute and a half a frame, if that, just to sort of give me a rough idea of the lighting and things like that that I've set up. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's kind of like a rough overview. Like I say, it wasn't a, a how to button by button press, it's, it's just for me to get used to talking to the camera and hopefully share some information on this project that uh, I'm working on. Uh, and I, I thought it'd be fun to show you this shot going from here through to a, a final process. Um, so yeah, uh, there's there's going to be a lot more of this to come and hopefully some more videos that show some things, especially as I start finishing up the whole right rig, which I'm working on the facial model and then I've got a cloth sim to set up for him and some other bits and bobs. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll uh, be able to show a lot more. And uh, yeah, if, if you enjoy this video, do all the usual stuff that people do with social media. Uh, like it, comment, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, I'll hopefully be back to share more stuff with you soon. Okay, cheers.